everybody and welcome to the stream as always my name is Shogun Shin and you the audience and I apologize for the late start I had uh, I've, so this week has been kind of crazy for me I've been dealing with some family stuff and all that jazz and then uh, I was gonna start at 10 but then a buddy of mine we were running some Final Fantasy stuff and we also got talking about uh, some static things and some other uh, some other personal stuff and whatnot um, but that's fine, uh, but it's it's fine. We're here. It's Thursday. We're playing. We're playing a brand new game because last week we finished Persona 5 Strikers, and now we are diving in. As per Chaotic Ice Queen's channel point request, we are diving right into Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I have not played Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles 1, um, but I guess it's fine because they're technically not related unless you do like DLC stuff. So we just won't do that yet. Um, Camera things, just, or some game setting things, just because subtitles, yeah. Cutscene voice volume, let's just put that all the way up. Put, put that there, put that there. There, sure. Sure. Uh, sure. Sure. Wow, I can't believe these are not like. I'm actually surprised that those uh, volume settings are adjusted that way. Alright, adjust brightness. I like this. Just easy, normal. Let's just do normal. Sure, that's fine. All right, cool. Okay. Chance of difficulty says just the. I didn't realize this. All right. So I know literally nothing about Xenoblade. Like literally nothing. I know that. Um, I know that Shulk's in Smash. He's from Xenoblade Chronicles One. The uh, Pyrrha and Mithra? Is that what her name is? I don't I don't actually know. Um, they just got put into Smash, so there's that. That's pretty cool. Um That's literally all I know. That's all the information that I have. I have no other information about these games. You know, there's that. <laughs> I have heard great things about Xenoblade though. I've heard really good things about this game, so I'm excited to play it. I'm looking forward to this the journey. I'm ready for the heartache. And I'm ready for my ships, my waifus. I'm I'm here. Let's do it. Fucking bring it on, baby. Hells yeah. All right. Are we sky fishers? We're sky fishers. Wait, this is weird, huh? Wait, so it's like an actual sea of clouds? That's so weird. Scenario. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought it was gonna, like, give you a scenario. No, it's just... That, I'm not gonna lie, that, like, really trips me up that it's... I thought it was, like, a sea of clouds because, like, it was, like, clouds, and then it's just... And then it's just the ground below, but no, it's like a legitimate sea of clouds. That's kind of trippy. Hmm. That was cool. Boy, if you have a fear of the deep ocean, this, this is like a nightmare. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I uh, yeah, Zonek. Yeah, I'm. I feel a lot better. I also need want to apologize for not streaming uh, yesterday for the podcast. I yeah, I got my second vaccine. I got my second dose for the vaccine um, Tuesday, and man, it hit me hard Wednesday. I woke up uh, at 5 a.m. Wednesday, and I couldn't go back to sleep because I had to go take. I, I had to go help my grandparents out uh, at eight, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I was man, my body hurt. Like, my head was killing me all day. Um, it felt like I was on fire, but freezing at the same time. But I didn't have a fever or anything like that. Oh, yeah. Yesterday for me was just... It was not a good day. <laughs> I was like... I think I slept probably 12 hours uh, 
out yesterday, pretty much. Because I just, I couldn't do anything else. Like, legit. <sighs> we really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. That's not the voice the that I expected him to have. The ping was off by 150 pets to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. What's Honestly, that voice? It's it not Irish. Two days to run the structural like, analysis. It's like, uh, Yet somehow it's you British, but your it's a specific, like, innocent. province. Don't oh go raining God. on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa! It's a crab! <laughs> no, treasure crab! I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, this guy. Treasure crab! Bricks. No worries, Gramps. Get a little practice and warm up. I think we know what's for lunch. Hell yeah! Always love me a good treasure crab. Alright, time to earn your lunch. To initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. Draw a weapon, simply press A while targeting the enemy. When the target just press A. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target of Mark. Incidentally, uh, you can also cheat the weapon. Oh, I can just stop that awesome. Okay, time to take you down. Alright, auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. Attack power increases. Okay. Ow! So, oh, okay, so auto attacks only happen when I'm not moving. Got it. Okay. Take a look at the icons in the lower right of the, of the screen. One of these activates will use heart Art is special techniques distinct from auto attack. The icons are laid out like the door is going to be Okay, that's fine. I'll turn it down. I wasn't so... Last night... Last night when I was feeling better... Um... Was it last night? What's today? Thursday? Tuesday. Tuesday. So Tuesday, I didn't stream... Um... Because I couldn't get slots to open. Yeah, I couldn't get I couldn't get slots to open Tuesday, and so I had to uh, I had to uninstall and reinstall slots. Uh, but I fucked up when I reinstalled it because the cause when you install slots for the first time, it asks you, hey, we see that you have OBS on your computer. Do you want to import your settings from OBS? And I accidentally hit yes, so it deleted all of my scenes. It deleted all of my scenes, all of my assets, everything got deleted. And so, Tuesday, I spent the night, I literally spent all night Tuesday remaking all of my assets and remaking all of my scenes. So, like, if anything looks, if anything on stream looks weird, let me know. Um, because I'm like, I kind of had to guess a little bit. I'm like, okay, I think this was here, this was, because I don't remember how everything is because it's been so long. And specifically for, like, my levels and my volume and stuff like that. Uh, I was like, I definitely don't remember what my, what, what my audio was like. Like, I super, super don't remember, and I'm like, shit. So yeah, like, if anything, specifically, uh, specifically, if I sound too low, or if the game sounds too high, let me know. Because I, I guesstimated, I guesstimated on the audio levels, and I have literally no idea what they were. <laughs> I ha I like got close and I'm like this is probably this might be right or at least it's a little close and I'm like okay we'll go up and down from where we need to so right, after using an art you'll have to wait until the recharge gate surrounding the outcome is refilled before you use it again recharge gate will refill as you auto attack enemies try pressing X to let grip with Rex Rex's anchor shot anchor shot ha all right the enemy just dropped something this item is called. Oh. Maneuver Rex to the AC potion to pick it up. 
Some arts like Anchor Shot will always cause an enemy to Oh, that's what that means. Okay. Should you use your art to be to deal serious damage or save the pool when you go into the page? Consider that your art can be Why not? So can I dodge stuff by moving? No. So there's no point in moving. So yeah! Sorry. Unless maybe they can act on the base. Anchor shot! Ha! Yeah! I'm feeling stronger than before. The volume. Okay, yeah. An entire I horizon. I figured that it was white. just that. Chapter one. A sea of clouds, and at its heart, the world tree, piercing the A sea the of heavens. clouds. Literally, a this, sea of clouds. Yeah, this is the world friend. we call home. Yeah, All treasure rest. cab. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in Allrest lived on the tree, together with our divine father. To be fair, is the is always said to be loud in the rest. According of the to the tales. It was There's a bountiful land. Moving. It's just not something you have access to. Yet. And the okay. people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. So just the volume. Okay, I'll they just the, I'll just the game volume a little bit. Elysium. And I'll turn I'll turn myself up uh, a little. But then well. one day we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Shit, I wasn't perhaps paying attention we to the our explanation. creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here, in Allrest. Oh, uh, okay. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. Is that what he is? The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now, those titans are beginning to die out. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, treasure crab! Uh, oh, the brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh, right up. Treasure crab. So he put the treasure chest back into the sea, in which I don't. I mean, like, I guess it's fine because you don't want to take up space, but like, that's kind of a shitty thing to do, right? <laughs> you should at least put something back in there, right? That's just me. Like another Titan, because that Titan looks a lot cooler than our Titan. I want to ride on that Titan. Not another one. So this is just like Wind Been Waker the lot, RPG, lately. right? <laughs> More so than before. <laughs> this is just like Wind Waker the JRPG, right? <laughs> if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day? It would not be today or tomorrow. But one day, yes. Oh, the, that one just died? And yes. you too? That's well, how it goes right. with us, Titans. No, never mind. I don't want to ride that Titan. That Titan's There's stupid. No <laughs> that Titan sucks. It. I don't want to ride that Titan. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Well, that'd be Sadly. bad. So, you Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say, for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium and the Creator who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace. 
with no need for fighting. Oh, there's always gonna be a need for fighting, though. Sure would be great for everyone, even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. I'm pretty sure the box is also supposed to be like a crab trap, so it stays at the bottom of the seat. Oh, okay, that's fair enough. I don't know. It only trapped one crab. Usually, crab traps are, are supposed to crap or trap multiple crabs. So, is it really that great of a trap? It only catches one of them. Granted, it was pretty big, but even still, though. All right. Back to making money. Yeah. Treasure crabs aren't going to pay for themselves. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps. Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Feels bad. Trade Guild. What is that? It's like a whale and a pufferfish put together. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right. Elsa wouldn't be here. Be all right. right. Honestly, so, which one these were holding? not the we voices that, that I expected for these people to have. Shouldn't be too long. I definitely did we not expect these voices, and it's kind of weirding me out. Just sell the stuff. All right. Later. It's really weirding hey, me out. Hold all. on. You know I can't do credit. Does it every time too? No Dude, was dumb in the UK. Okay, look! I just forgot! Thank you. <laughs> What's the fucking area called? Awesome. It's called something! This thing's huge. It's not uh, even a Titan ship. It's like there's a specific neighborhood or like area in the UK that has a specific accent. I can't, I can't think of it. I just, I can't think of it right now. And I hate that I can't. Cause it's like, it's like the, it's like the stereotypical British accent too. It's like, oh, all right. Like, but it's not like Brighton, maybe, maybe Brighton, maybe like, I want to say it's Edinburgh, but I don't think that's right. Looks like our adventure is about to really get going, and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. Thanks, tutorial box! When you close this tutorial screen, you'll see Gold Mouth Return Port pop up on the screen. This is letting you know you found a landmark. When you discover a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're defeated in battle, you'll return to the last landmark that you visited. Alris has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, press up, down, left, no, left, left, down, right, to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme, got it. Left is for battle, left is for cameras, right is for field controls, got it. Okay, cool. Alright, let me... This sounds slightly Yorkshire. It might be Yorkshire. It might be Yorkshire. Also, where's Cardinal Street? Yeah, she did request this. I don't know where she is. <laughs> I don't know where she is. But yeah, she did. She did request this. All right. Cool. Well, there's a man here with a, with a star. So I'll talk to you. Hi there, Rex, my boy. This Nopin here's just arrived to do a bit of sightseeing around Argento. I keep saying this central exchange is inside gold now, but just just after you enter the ship, but he just doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to the Lemur Inn on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. Okay. That. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess. Hi there. Well, Rex, it's good to see you. Perry Perry just what a whale. Perry Perry just wheeling away time, watching ships go by till cargo all loaded on board. That didn't rhyme. But Rex stayed to meal together. Nice TC summit or somewhat such. Sorry, I'm kind of busy at the moment. Hmm, that too bad. Perry Perry thought it would be nice to make happy memories before I set out on a long, long voyage. Ah, never mind, Perry Perry. It's just being melodramatic. Rex, keep doing what, keep doing good work with salvaging. All right. Bye, Perry Perry. Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First up, I'll explain the regular view. See what the, the arrow is pointing to right now? That's the compass. The mark on the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading. The digits above the mark on the compass show the distance to your destination. Oh, you guys can't see that, but it says 35. <laughs> you guys can't see that. I kind of wish I kind of wish I could flip it so that way the numbers are at the bottom, but it's fine. Did I play Xenoblade Chronicles 1? No. <laughs> no, so we're gonna start with two because I've never played one before, but it's fine. If Rex's destination is higher than his current position, then you'll see a little arrow above the marker. Conversely, if it's at lower altitude than Rex's current position, then the arrow will be displayed below the marker. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the environmental information that the arrow mark is pointed to right now. This key will let uh, uh, this will key you into info about your immediate surroundings, like the weather, time of day, and so on. Next, the mini-map. You can use this to get a quick grasp of Rex's surroundings. The yellow marker in the middle shows Rex's current location and the direction he's facing. Press the left stick to switch between a full screen or a mini-map view. Confident adventurers might prefer to make their way through Alrus without using the mini-map. Okay. Lastly, we have the current objective. As you might expect, this tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle the visibility with ZR, so take a look if you are ever unsure about what to do next. Right now, it's telling to you to go pay a visit to Malolo at the Central Exchange, so try doing that. Oh, okay, so I can just, like, have the map... Oh, God. Okay, that's cool. Um... Have you heard anything interesting lately? There's a legendary merc a pal of mine told me about, Zoquin. And get this, he's got a huge sweet tooth. Can't say no to a Cinnapod cine roll. Just one Cinnapod roll and he'll be pumped for the next battle. It's similar to how my wife's got a serious thing for a o d d d o Pleasant smells are condu conducive to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that peps you up as well. It's cocaine. That's what peps me up. Cocaine. But that's just me. I don't think I should be wasting time right now. Well, you don't know that, Rex. Products sold here aren't much use to salvagers like me. Maybe that was a mercenary or a driver or even a blade. One of these days, Rex, you will get there eventually. It's all in due, all in due time, Rex. All in due time. Hi there. I can't get over the fact that you're providing for your village at such a young age, Rex. It's really admirable. You're probably heading out for a bit of salvaging after this, aren't you? Well, be careful how you go. Thanks. It's still loud, really. Wow, okay. Alright. I don't want to turn down my slobs volume. So, um, let's turn this down. Let's turn this down. Turn this down. Turn this down. It's most of the music, and I'm quiet. Okay. All right. Well, I'll keep turning myself up, and we'll try that. Um, so let's put this here. Put this here. Let's just have all this here. Okay. Alright, how's that? Is that a little bit better? Cause I'll I'll keep turning myself up to see if that if that helps. Cause I don't I don't wanna I don't think I can really turn down anything else in the game for the most part, so. It's shoon! Hey Rex, looks like you've got quite the salvaging business going on there. Been to Central Exchange yet? You should bring your haul along there. Collectibles, treasure, whatever's in your pockets. You'll be a better. You'll get a better deal. You can sell off, sell them off in bulk. Playing the market in your favor is the market of a true salvager. Good to know. Also, where is? Right, Tonodon. Hi there. Tonodon heard that it is a good idea to move around to side or back of enemy during battle. Now me think this info may be relevant for repairs around Goldmouth. 
When it's hard to hammer in nails, should not hit from straight above, but side on. Oof, I don't want to think about all the nails you'll end up ruining. Yeah, that's not how that works. I'll be honest. Central relationship. Okay, I'm passing it. There it is. What? That's it? It's life, Mayor. There's mm -hmm. still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Wow. Cease fire between Moor Ardain and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex it's real good salvager. shame. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is a beautiful thing, sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish touched enough to give me more money? Insane. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey, hey. All right, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. Oh, all right. So, you're, you're, so your heart isn't touched enough to give me more money, huh? That's cool, I guess. Neat. Alright. So now what are we doing? Oh, okay. Hello, Rex. Hello. What's your name? Been a while. Good. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, no. How say? Yes. Peppy. Okay. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way. Rex come from Fonset Village in Leptherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, why? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> Chairman Banner uh... asked Rex by name. I don't like this. This seems kind of suspicious. I don't like this. This seems mildly ominous. Alright. What are you waiting for? Chop chop! You go see Chairman Bana now! Alright, what should I ask Papoonin about? Where is the Chairman's room? Go through Argentum Argentum Bazaar and upstairs. Chairman's room's right there. Meh, stop this dilly dally and hop to it. You young and spirit spiritly sprightly bod, no? No, I'm actually lazy and fat. Hold up a second. Before I forget, I should probably explain how to control the camera. I know how to control the camera tutorial box, but I appreciate you explaining this. The camera has two modes, manual and auto. To use manual, just use right stick to point the camera in whichever direction you like. If you press right stick while the camera is in manual mode, the camera will hone in on Rex's back and follow him around. This is what we call auto mode. You can adjust the camera's height, zoom, uh, hold down left and move the right stick left and right to adjust the camera height, or up down to adjust zoom. If you experiment with different camera angles, then you might be able to spot a few things that you might otherwise have missed, so give it a try. Alright. So if I move the camera... No. It just... Okay, so this will just reset. But yeah, this basically... So clicking the right stick just resets my camera. Okay. And then... Oh, God! Oh, yes! First person perspective! Hells yeah! Let's go! I am short. Oh god. Oh god, I... <laughs> I actually kind of like this, the, having it zoomed out like this. I kind of like this. Low key. But this is, this is kind of, like, this, adjusting the height like this is kind of weird, I won't lie. Let's just, let's just do it, like, there. That's good enough. Sure. Okay. Hella, hella. Past here is room with Chairman Bana. Chairman very busy, no pun, so no entering on this important business. Temper of Chairman famously short, not to disturb lightly. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Bana, Chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. Hello. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have 
dincy weensy thing to ask of a Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. Whoa, that's a, a lot of money. 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. That's a lot of money. I'll do it. I hereby swear oh, to use every skill I possess to ensure this Rex. job is successful. Rex, I promise you I won't fool! Let you, <laughs> you fool! You agree without even hearing details. That's just job. poor business, oh, Rex. Oh, right. Um, what kind of job That's is it? Poor business. Even You're Chairman really Bana's like, why would you accept course, it already? Fine. Nah, if you say. Hey, <laughs> okay, crew sure. Will why not? Explain <laughs> the task. Sure, why not? F it. Bring them in, sir. Hello. Okay. He's evil. He's definitely evil. Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. I don't know if so, the if the cat girl and the lion are evil. I feel like there I feel like the ships. the it showed up whatever area. fish robot thing. I feel like he should down. be evil, but he's actually not. Nice. I like a good challenge. I feel like this dude's definitely evil, though. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. Did he, though? <laughs> Did he, though? <laughs> A child salvager. All right, Jim, rude. Don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing too. Hey, what I'll have hell? you know that I only wet my you bed once like this month, okay? Did, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly hundred grand. Okay, a hundred grand is a lot of money. What are you trying to say? That's a lot of money mm, for Rex, normal people. Was it? I Hello, implore you, oh, you to talk. excuse. Okay. My lady's discourtesy. Oh, good. Nice to know Dora, that the cat actually has manners. For me. Shut Drop you. it, Nia. Yeah, that's no, right. I do Nia. see your point. Ah, know your place. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Ah, yeah, ah. Okay, okay. Let's all rude, <laughs> rude, actually rude. What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? Rude. You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. Actually, you kind of did, though. You did, or at least it, though, you right? did insinuate. And anyway, so now we know. You'll do right enough, though. You don't look like a driver. Well, I'm a salvager. Where'd you learn so... those arts? Grump showed me a thing or two, even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. Look, for 200k, I'll work all sorts of things. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say that yet. Yeah, I feel like this, this lizard person is supposed to be evil, but he's actually got a heart of gold. Kind of like Himari, but that's just my impression. I like the cat. Not her. Him. <laughs> I like him. I don't like her. She can burn in hell for all I care right now. Ma, ma, ma. Friends are Dro -march. such yeah. Dro March, Dro Mark. Woo! Gear is advanced. Yeah! Buy what gear you need. Then go to dock on starboard. Okay. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. Oh, is that that sub? You got it. Is that that metal sub thing? Oh, yes. Heck yeah, man. Right then. There are plenty of preparations to make, but first off, I should probably check in with Gramps. If I just took off on some random ship without telling him, I'm sure he'd give me hell later when I came back. I better head down the stairs and back to Goldmouth's return. Okay, 
Chairman Bana explain everything? Then, then we'll get to work straight away. Can buy good equipment with money from Chairman Bana. Yeah. When friend ready, head to Gold Mount Exit Dock. We have outstanding ship ready for commandeering. Okay. By the way, the accents are split by region. Oh, nice. It's a nice touch right there. Wouldn't do to have people from different regions have the same accents. So that's... Oh, Rex, you're back. Between the fee for mooring, Gramps here, and for unloading your goods, I'll be 15 gil gold total. Ready to pay up now? Uh, no, I'm not. What? You just came by to top me? Is that it? Come on, you're a salvager. I know you can afford a Mizzy 15 G. No! No, I, I, I got 200. I gotta... I gotta send that back to, to my family. I, just put it on credit. It's fine. It's fine. And that about covers it. All right, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Of course it does. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? Because it's a hundred gold. don't even know who your employer thousand. is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! Nah, it's fine. It's fine. 200k! Now that I've got Gramps' permission, just about, I'd better start making preparations for this mission. A hundred grand to spend. That sure is an exciting prospect. I could buy a whole new cutting-edge salvaging suit. But no, I can't splurge this all at once. The folks back home need this money more than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases. I just need... I just... And just head to Sh Shinini's accessories. Always best to be prepared for anything. I might end up finding a crust tip. Uh, crust... Crust tip, like on my last salvage. My main quest. A big story job... Big job preparation. Set so as active quest. Sure. You accepted a quest. There are two types of quests. Regular quests and ones that are part of the main story. You'll need to complete main story quests to advance the main story. The direction of the next location is shown in the compass as a pink exclamation mark icon. A word of warning here. The pink icon will not appear on the compass at the top of the screen unless you set a quest as active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a seasoned veteran, but rookie adventurers would do well to remember to set active quests whenever possible. Ordinary quests aren't vital for the main story. Follow the blue exclamation mark icon to get to the next destination. All of us is full of people who could use a little help. You'll be able to spot them pretty easily since they'll have a blue question mark icon above their heads. If you speak to them, they'll usually open up to you about their problems and request some kind of help. These are regular. These are the regular quests that I mentioned earlier. I'm sure if you manage to solve their problems, they'll give you some kind of reward for your trouble. All right, cool. All right, Herkham, here you go. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I'd do, uh, what I'd have done if you just tried to circ your bill. Enjoy your stay in Goldmouth, yeah? Alright, Hercam. Fine, fine, fine. I'll be good. Me as well as well. Oh, fun. Alright, cotton Cockney? Is that what I'm thinking of? A Cockney accent? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. That oh alright! Like like me wall. Or we'll, we'll, we'll talk about Thanks, Cockney. Cockney accent. Ah, friend Rex, good be to be seen. Hey, Shinini, you still got that thing we talked about before? Ah, Rex, finally save up money for purchase? You got it. Can I have a look? Never, please don't ever do that again. Oh, all right. You don't like the Cockney accent, do ya? All right. Rude. Anyways, a vis vest. Alright, buy what? Why Rex suddenly have much money? Salvage some amazing treasure? I've taken my big job direct from the chairman. I got a hundred thousand just from the advance payment. Wow, that quite impressive. But I'll be going into uncharted water, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. This accessory is sure to protect Rex. Shinini guaranteed. Good luck on job. Right, now that's sorted. I've still got a fair amount of cash left. I'm trying to send some back home to the folks in Bonset. I best go see Malolo at the Central Exchange again. Rex, you don't want to, like, buy another one? Or buy a weapon or something? You finally got that Abyss Vest you always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. Right now, the Abyss Vest is the only accessory you have, but you're sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Just remember, you'll need to equip accessories to benefit from their effects. Go to main menu, characters, character setup, accessories to do so. Let's go ahead and just do that right now. Uh, this one. Okay, so we're allowed two accessories. 
Okay. So accessories are our gear. It's only just that. From what I see. Okay. Interesting. So it seems like we need WP. Oh, and then I guess you get other weapons, I guess? For your arts, I guess? Oh, and this is a skill tree, from what it seems like. I, this will all get explained eventually. <laughs> this will all get explained. Alright. I'm kind of looking around to see if there's any sort of like... Uh, if there are any sort of like... Side quests that I need to be doing? I doubt it, but you never know. Rex back again. Did friend forget something? No, I didn't actually exactly forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on floor? No pun round here. Very particular about money, so it should turn in even small change. No, I didn't pick up any small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum? Like 2,000 G? Close. Close. <laughs> Multiply that by a couple thousand. <laughs> I'd rather not ba bandy the number about too much, but... More like a hundred thousand? Hundred thousand? That's so loud! Oh, yes, sorry, much. But where Rex get all that gold? I stole it! <laughs> Actually, no. No need to tell Malolo. Malolo not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Any hoodles, Rex. Malolo not able to accept such large sum here anyway. You take directly to Courier. All monies Malolo accepts here always deliver through Courier called Max. Oh, okay, Max. I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. Huh. Well, this certainly make things quicker. Friend know where to find Max? Yeah, he'll just be through the Argenta Bazaar, right? Thanks, Bololo. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't trust the middleman like that. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. We give 100k to Max. Like, I'm sure Max is a stand-up guy and everything. But, like, that's 100k. That's 100k, all right? That's a lot of money. I don't know if I want to be just pawning that off to some people. It, to, to we, to we, Tiwi Tiwi, got it. It's not want to salvage anymore. Always feeling like useless beginner and no fun at all. Really? Don't you like it when you find something good and it makes you money? And doesn't it make you feel curious when you find mysterious treasures that nobody's seen before? I mean, sure, we have to deal with the scary monsters sometimes, but I feel like the excitement makes up for it. Timmy Timmy thinks it's scary, is more scary than excite. Rex know about average mortality of salvages per year? No. What is it? About 20 or so? It's 360 people! Every year! Almost same number as no pot who die from eat poison mushroom! Maybe you should do something about those poison mushrooms first. Oh, Timmy Timmy went out of dangerous career. Poor Timmy Timmy. Wait, had uh, Wait a second. I I caught Wait a second. I got up. Oh, okay. B button is jump. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I figured it I got there. We got there eventually. Can we climb? No? Okay. Yeah, yeah this is the game's things that they don't tell you at first. Man, man, salvage is so cool. Lemuli Wish could also do salvaging work instead of just guard job. But Lemuli suppose is not so bad, just gazing out at Cloud Sea. Oh, are you like a striking dummy? What the hell are you? Okay, Fuck it! Time to take you down. Or a crabble. Ow. Yeah. Eh. 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 <laughs> Easy peasy. Cool. Okay, Tortor trying to study history from salvage artifacts. Have you heard anything interesting lately? No one really knows salvage goods really used to be in really used in way they describe today. Good example of giant's black ring. Looks like ring for very giant finger, but then what happened to giant? Wow, pretty impressive. It piqued your imagination, no? Everything's so interesting. Okay. I don't know where Max is. I thought he was over here, he's not. Oh no, he's right there. I talked to him early, didn't I? 
Hey Max, I'd like to transfer some money. Why, if it isn't Rex, pretty rare for a client to drop cash off in person. It's a big sum this time, so Malolo said I should bring it straight to you. You're quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. So how much are we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets, so after leaving a bit for myself, let's say... Uh, it's a 90k. Sure. Can you deliver 90k, or 90k to Cor Corinne and bon Afonso Village, please? Phew, that's quite the healthy sum. Did you haul off some huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Now that sure sounds like a pie I'd like a piece of. Oh yeah, I got a delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, I'll decide to had to track you down. It's from that same Auntie Corinne of yours, actually. Oh, it's Braised Cloud Cheese Shark. Oh, that sounds so good. Mm, it looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of that, of that transfer for me, okay? Count on me. Alright, three Braised Cloud Sea Sharks. Hello there, friend Rex. Rui, proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging, at your service. No need for introductions with me, Rui. I was thinking of going to check out some cil cylinders for a bit. Well, that perfect timing. Rui just got, just get in brand new cylinder type. If having time, friend want to test out? Really? You let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvager World. If Rex approve of quality, easier for Rui to sell. It's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. I'd be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come see Rui on rear deck shortly then. Rui will make preparation. Gotcha. This is brand new cylinder. Please test out at nearby salvage point to tell and tell Rui impressions from using. All right, then leave it to me. Silver cylinder. Let's see here this. Time to learn about salvaging. The icon you can see in front of Rex right now is what marks what we call a salvage point. As long as you have cylinders handy, you can go salvaging at, at, at one of these points at any time. Follow the on-screen instructions. And hit the buttons at just the right time to get your hands on some treasure. Time it right, and you'll get high-quality treasure. But if your timing's off, the value of the treasure will decrease. There are salvage points all over Alvarez, and the type of treasure varies from point to point. So if you find a new one, be sure to give it a try. By the way, if you're short in cylinders, you can buy them at any salvager's shop. You'll find these shops all across Alvarez. An expensive cylinder is likely to get you better quality treasure, but even a cheap one can yield a decent haul, so use your gold as you see fit. For the moment, you better use the cylinder that Gurui gave you and see how it goes. Alright, I don't have anything else to do, right? Alright, silver cylinder. Oh, I can't wait! Oh, crap! Huh? Onwards! Alright, I didn't mean- I didn't know it was like that. That could've gone better. Alright. Just throws it down on the ground, huh? All right. Looks like friend all finished. How was new cylinder? Uh, it was it was all right. All right, that's such vague answer. But it's true that not easy to get used to new cylinder after only one use. At any rate, thanks much for help. Also here, give friend present from a three normal cylinder used in the same place as before. Man, happy salvaging. Three normal cylinders. If friend ever run out of cylinders, please drop by shop anytime. We make deal. I guess I got a bit distracted. Was I meant to be doing? What was I meant to be doing again? Mm, I guess I should stock up on food supplies. I've got that braised cloud sea shark now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor. Then that should be all. Then I should be all set. All right, I gotta redeem myself. I gotta go salvage again. I redeem myself here. I gotta redeem myself. That could have gone better. Oh. Wait, what? Excuse me, what? Oh, right. It's like an actual C. I forgot. <laughs> I keep for I keep thinking that this cloud C is like, you know, just clouds that you fall through. No, it's like actual. It's like an actual C. Got it. Cool. All right. Here we go. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, I hit the button. That's bull. That's actually nonsense. I hit the button. It's not like Final Fantasy. Look, it's not like normal physics, all right? <laughs> I thought it was like normal physics. Okay, bring it on. Eh. Eh. Yeah. 
Excuse me. What's with these crabbles, huh? Who's dealing with these? And why do I have to do it? Does health not come? Okay, it does. Health regens. Good to know. Alright, alright. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this correctly. I got this. What the hell? Alright, actually, what the hell? That could have gone better. Damn it. I'm gonna waste all of my money. Okay, bring it on. One more cylinder. All right, let's do it a little bit earlier. Okay. Time for some treasure hunting. There we go. There we go. There it is. Winning. There it is. There's the hall. There's the hall. That's what we're looking for. Hey, let's go! Hey, hey, back off! That's my treasure! Back off! God dang scalper, trying to take my treasure? I'll kill you! I'll cut you! Alright. We should go back. Let's go to the, uh... Yeah, let's go talk to Rui. Right. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. I guess we won't do that. Oops. There go all my there go all of my things. Friend received mission direct from chairman. Make sure to do good job. And even more important than good job, make sure to come back in one piece. No dying, you make your family sad. Oh, well, thanks, Halele. Fruja. Chairman Bono told you where to go, didn't he? Down to the exit dock on the starboard side of Gold now. Once you sorted out what you what you're doing with your advance payment, you should head down there sharpish. A hundred gram, that's quite the pretty little sub. Yeah, I've never been paid anything like this much before. And you get another hundred grand when you get back? Lucky you. What I wouldn't give for that kind of money. Well, uh, I'm not trying to guilt you or anything. You just do your best out there, alright? She's definitely trying to guilt us. Bonna, I expect good things from you, Rex. Just follow instructions from Papunin and business should be over without Pickle, no? Yeah. We pay you rest of money when you back from job. Now get going! It's never that easy. It's never that easy. Also, hello. You're all mine. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing from the chairman. Don't mind me. Everything's fine. Nothing suspicious here. If he didn't want me to have it, then he wouldn't have kept it unlocked. Or out in the open, so, you know. That, honestly, it's his own fault. Man, I need to go to the third floor? There's a look about you. The look of someone who buys a lot of things at shops. I'm an up-and-coming economist. I'm trying to encourage people to up their consumer activity. Whether buying or selling what matters is that money keeps ha changes hands. That's what keeps the economy flowing. And if the economy thrives, so will this city. What's that mean for you, I hear you ask? Well, it means you'll be able to buy things cheaper. Wow, pretty impressive. Isn't economics wonderful? I guess. Fishy, fishy. Welcome, Fred. Now then, what should I buy? Alright, let's see here. Uh, minus negative 3% uh, ether damage taken. 4% ether damage taken. Uh, bought a couple of these. Um, three of these. Three of these. Thanks for custom. Cool. Right, I've got the accessory I wanted and I'm all sorted on for food. I think that should just about do it. There's still time left before I have to leave, so maybe I'll rest up at the end. I 
going to head back to Gramps to rest, but he might try to give me another lecture, so yeah, the inn seems best. I have plenty of cash left, and it can't hurt to rest in a nice comfy bed once in a while. The inn should be just past Rumbleton Canteen. Let's get moving. At Toto. Have you heard anything interesting lately? Mm, has friends seen proper driver fighting before? Driver used weapon received from Blade to really bash up enemies. Slicey, slicey! Also, sometimes Driver returned weapon to Blade. But when, when that happened, Blade could unleash powerful attack and flatten enemy. And Toto really love it when Driver and Blade do that. Blade left very tired after doing this, though. The Driver had to pick up slack and wave weapon bishy bashy at enemy. Anyway, this is this all what boyfriend ate teach at Toto? Okay, I guess. Ooh, there are side quests. Away! Ow, there's fall damage. Good to know. Huh. Aft. Hi there. Yo! We were just about to play hide and seek. If friend need anything, friend have to come later. Wait, friend maybe look like friend wants to play with us? Oh, that not occur to me. Well, if you insist, it's okay. We can all play together. But you're seeking first. Leave it to me. Wow, you're eager. Okay, me explain rules. Hiding area is anywhere on Goldmouth ground level. When we include higher floors, the game goes on for days and days. Then Mama Punk got angry. Anyway, anyhow, we find everyone meet back here in Bower Lounge. Got it? Roger. Hiding area not big, but we very good at hiding. Friend no think, uh, friend no think it go easy. Yeah, we play hide and seek every day. We'll hide like there's no tomorrow. Okay, we go hide now. So friend count a hundred before looking. Yes. Oh my God, a hundred. Kill me. Okay, right, set his active quest, absolutely. Alright, let's get going. How bad is this gonna kill me? Ugh. Ow! Okay, not that bad. Wait, hilariously, the markers are, ma are marked here? That's actually awesome. That's hilarious. I see him. Huh. Eh! How do I get to him is the question. Like this? <sighs> yeah! Ah, Rats, you found me already? I was so sure I had the perfect hiding place as well. So lame. Uh-huh. Ah, whatever. I'm glad you didn't take it easy on me. Okay, I'll go wait in the Bower Lounge. Alright, where's the next one? Oh, no, you're right here. <laughs> but, sneaky, 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 no, so nondescript. Usually hard to find even when not hiding properly. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? Friend must have amazing power of observation. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, go, wait go ahead and wait in Bower Lounge. Right, last one is... Uh... Oh, I'm following the wrong marker. I think he's outside, I think. Yeah, I think he's outside. Coming around the bend. Friend, find me inside cask? Unfair! Please excuse, Tolulu is one who is unfair. As the sneaky sneaky, never find Tolulu here. Eyes of friend must be very strong. So Tululu was last. Okay, let me go back to Barrel Lounge now. Cool. Razzly Dazzly. Hi there. Doing good, Rex? Our gentleman is an amazing place, is as amazing as Dream. Many people buzzy buzzy livelies. But it is also slightly scary. Bumped into a Dranian man earlier and he stares straight into soul. Razzly Dazzly, hightail it out of there. Made enough distance between to make sure they do not, they not follow. Maybe come in handy as reference if Rex need to escape from enemy. Thanks. Ardanian. Okay, time Ardanian. to take you down. Got it. Ha! Yeah! These guards suck. They're not doing anything. These guards ain't doing jack. <laughs> Oh, so if I leave combat then, my... Oh, then my arch reset. That sucks. I can't get to that. Hey, level 
blow it up. Nice, sword bash. Hells yeah, let's go. Everyone here now. Friend finds Alulu already? Yes, friend is hide and seek genius. Here, here. Anyhow, thank friend for playing. It's no problem at all. Well, Ap have to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna. Thanks for playing. My parents are both too busy to play with me ever. But today was real fun. Really, thanks a lot for playing with us. You can play with us anytime. Roger. Um, here is thank you gift from Sneaky Sneaky and friends. It likes scrap of treasure for us. Or maybe just scrap. Anywho, please take. Thanks. Alright, then I guess you've got the places to go. Come and play again. See you around. So it's gonna do this every time we complete a quest, huh? Okay. Alright, you found all the hidden children. The kids seem satisfied for now, but what will game will they come up with next? I got a muscle belt. Nice. Might as well equip that. Increase the strength by 20. Nice. Not bad. Also, so sword bath. What does this do? Uh, increases damage dealt from the back by 100%. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So I can press X to skip trap. I didn't know that. Okay, there was another side quest over here. Bother, bother. Can't use Nope on his muscle. And I can't just ask the Ardanians. Something wrong? Mm oh, hi. Well, actually, I've got some cargo in the harbor that I brought from Uriah to trade, but it's an ever so slight nuisance. Ask if someone's causing trouble. Ask if the cargo is illegal. Something like that. That's a good guess, except it's not exactly a person. It seems that Trent Crabbles love the stuff I'm transporting. I tried to, to get to it, they clamor on deck and try to steal the cargo. I hired some goons to stand guard, but they all got done, done in. So I'm out here now, looking for someone to replace them with. But I'm having no luck so far, so I'm st starting to feel a bit tired. I'd like to help if that's okay. You're saying you'll take the job? Thanks a bunch, pal. You're one in a million. The car was in Goldmouth Return Port. It's pretty large. You can't miss it. If you agree, you could chase off the thieving Trent Crabbles. Thanks in advance. Leave it to me. Cargo Escort. Alright. Ah, man, the little buggers. No! They must be up behind me! Eh. Eh. Yeah. 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 Positionals don't really work when you are when you're the only one and they're targeting you. Positionals don't really work out all that well. I've noticed. Oh no, you don't! Oh god! How do I switch targets? Can I switch targets? To hold, I have to hold R and then it will like, Okay, cool. Well, I don't think the train crowds are gonna come back anytime soon. Let's see. Let's let you sold know. back. Thank you. Thanks to you chasing off the train crowds, I was able to make my delivery. I'm really grateful to you. It's no problem at all. I feel better if someone tough like yourself could guard my wares, but eh, sorry, but no. You know, if those train crowds come stupid again, I'll try hiring some mercenaries from Garfund. 
They say those mercs are buff as buff can be. But I digress. Here, you're here. Your reward for protecting my wares. Please take it. Thanks. With the crumbles gone, the Zone's trade deal went off without a hitch. In future, she plans to hire mercenary guards. Shell cameo. What is what's that? Is that like a, is that also an accessory or is that just like a what was spell? Okay, yeah. Increases HP restored to self, not using HP potions by 10%. Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna probably nah on that one. Alright. I don't believe there's anything else in this place. Not that I, not that I can see. Uh, is there a... Oh, right. It's like, is there a map? It doesn't seem like there's a map or anything else here, so. Let me quickly explain about logic. When you take a short res at a logic facility, like an inn, you can use any bonus experience you've earned to boost your level. Bonus experience is the experience that you earn when completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to rest at inns on occasion so you can use it. If you come up against a foe that you just can't beat, do a few quests to build up your bonus experience, then go to a logic facility and level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes a challenge, you're free to le never level up at lodgings at all. It can be fun to live dangerously. Anyway, you've got a big day ahead of you tomorrow, so you better get some shut eye. Right, welcome to Lamore Inn, rest place of all traders. I'd like to rest up a bit. Thank you very much for custom. We we has rooms free. Alright. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. But so I'm pretty sure you can you level up naturally though, which is kind of weird. Yeah, it's like kind of weird because like you, you level up naturally too, so you just get like, do you get bonus experience separately from normal experience, or does it just kind of like take it in half and it's like kind of divvies it up? This really is so different. From, this really is so different from sleeping in that little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I feel like I've gotten a bit stronger. Anyway, I better head to the meetup point. Uh, is that it was that gold mouth exit dock down on the ground floor, right? I guess it's still time to look around the gold mouth a bit longer than I want to, but I shouldn't dawdle too long. A number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across Alvarez. Our Gentum Trade Guild is known as the Hub of Alvarez's Commerce. Naturally, you'll find a plethora of different shops here. While you're here, you should make sure you've got everything you need before you head out on your adventures. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Hey, Ugh. double spinning edge. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about something important. Rex's pouch. Rex never goes anywhere without his handy pouch. It's great for putting his favorite items inside so that he always has them close at hand. Rex's pouch isn't that big. It can hold just one handy item at a time. So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually the sort of every A-Day item you'll find at lifestyle shops. Just keeping them close by can have all sorts of effects. There are 12 different types of lifestyle shops across Alvarez, so if you encounter a new one, be sure to check it out. Uh, let's see here. HP, 15% max HP to damage barrier. That sounds kind of good. Let's we'll buy a couple of those. So you do buy kill, you get experience by killing something. The bonus means come from quests. Oh, okay, alright. So the difference between quests and killing things. Okay, got it. Oh, ow. Oh, if I jump from, okay, hold on. Hold on for a hot second. <laughs> Hold on for a hot second. If I jump from the third floor all the way to the ground floor, how much damage do I take? Can I even do that? I should be able to, I think. I just gotta find the angle. Alright, there it is. Ah! Ow! Oh! That's a jump. Alright. Welcome to Whiteside Salvaging. Yep. Cylinders. Oh, cylinders 1800? Oh man! Alright, I'll buy one of those. Buy one of those. One of these. Woo! Eighteen hundred. Lordy. Also, I saw a side quest somewhere. Alright, 
Left all clear, right all clear, front all clear, gold mouth A-OK. -okay. But Jijibi shift not A-OK. -okay. Really? Lemuli is supposed to take over watch when Jijibi's time is up. But Lemuli already 3,821 seconds late. This is thousandth time now. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Uh, 3, 8, 2, 1. Divided. Assuming this is normal. <laughs> Over an hour. <laughs> Over an hour late. Got it. Okay, cool. It's like 63 minutes or something like that. 63 minutes, some such. Uh, okay. Cool. And thousand times GB will miss Dindins. That's not right. Jijibi wants to find the movie and scold him whole day long. Jijibi must keep watch. Jijibi so sleepy. Jijibi so hungry. I'd like to help, but that's okay. Meh <laughs> You want to help Jijibi? Thank you. Jijibi ever so grateful. Please find the movie and tell him that it's time to relieve watch. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you, friends. Oh, that reminds me. You probably find the movie watching salvage. He always lose track of time when doing that. Right. Better late than never. Set his active quest. Alright. Whee! How was I supposed to know you were even streaming? I checked at 10 30, you still weren't live. Oh, look, I was a little late. It's fine. Yeah, you haven't missed much, Chaotic. Okay. Nothing has Time happened to yet. Take so. you down. Nothing has happened. I'm just gonna kill this crab a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We can do this all day! You. Salvaging so cool, Lamuli can watch it all day. Eh? Lamuli feel like he forgot something. So the thing is, eh, watch duty. This south and time, Jijibi is going to get so angry. Eh, eh. Are you all right? <laughs> Excuse me. Lamuli watched salvaging for so long he forgot his tummy was rumbly grumbly. Uh, Lamuli cannot move one inch. Lamuli shrivel up and die here. Remember Lamuli fondly. Mm, this is awkward. What should we do? Take pity on poor Lamuli. Someone help Lamuli? Is no kind, good people around? If only Lamuli could eat Cinnapon Roll from Honeycomb Sweets, Lamuli would have energy to work. Roger. Just one. One single, small Cinnapon Roll. God damn it, Lamuli. God damn you, Lamuli. Piece of shit. <sighs> Sweetie, sweetie confections purchase here. Alright. How much is a Cinnapod? Oh, thank God. I was like, I don't have a whole lot of gold left, so, like, how much... How much we got? Right, here you go. You did it! It's Cinnapod roll! Lamuli eat up right now! Wait, no, no, not time for that! Lamuli have a terrible problem! Is something wrong? While the movie stand around dreaming of Cinnapon rolls, precious treasure got stolen by Sly Crabble. Very, very important pendant from Mama, Mama Pod. The movie must get pendant back. Ah, the movie had a good idea. Let's hear the details. The movie will become salvager and salvage Sly Crabble. Foolproof. The movie start swimming practice first thing tomorrow. I'd like to help, but that's okay. Friend, help the movie with swimming practice. Oh, just get pendant back for the movie instead. Yeah. Friend, very good and kind to get the Mooly both Cinnamon Roll and Pendant as well. Sly probably probably already returned to depths of Cloud Sea. If the Mooly get Pendant, he can work. The Mooly save Cinnamon Roll until Pendant is returned. Uh, okay. So you want me to like salvage it or? Hold up that Sly Crabble at the salvage deck. I'm going to retrieve the Mooly's keepsake necklace. Oh, you mother. Okay. All right. Let's use the normal one for this. Oh, I can't wait. Here we go! Right. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it now. This looks like it'll be something good. Alright, there's our crabble. Okay, bring it up. Alright, let's do this. Two by, I want to do that double spinning edge attack. Alright, 
Uh, can I... Is there a way for me to move my, like, things? Move my arts around? Because that's what I want to do. I'm going to move my arts. Uh, switch, here we go. Yeah. Because if this, if this ups my rear damage, I want to put this, obviously, in the rear button. And this is my flanking damage. So, I want to, I want to do it that way. Yeah. Alright, and then I can strengthen the yard, huh? Oh, whoops, I, okay. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but sure, you know what, that's fine. You're all mine. Woo! Butterflies. You're all mine. Giant's black ring, okay. Cinnapon roll, so tasty. Here you go. Ah, friends! Lamoli was not eating Cinnapon roll. Lamoli only eat half of Cinnapon roll. Hmm? Lamoli's pendant? Thank you. This Lamoli's special memories of Mama Pon. Looks like everything worked out. Meh. Lamoli thinks so think too much about pendant and forget to relieve Gigi of watch duty. Lamoli did not keep Gigi, Gigi, Gigi be waiting. Bye, friends! Huh. Alright. I'm well, taking care of that. So, I'm just trying to, I'm basically just seeing on the map where, if there's any other quests. I don't know what it says, though. Ah, thanks a lot. Jijibi passed watch duty to me, no problemo. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? The movie smashed previous latest record by of 7,691 seconds. Because this happens thousands of times, Jijibi planned to lecture him for three days and three nights. But the movie gave Jijibi half of the delicious Cinnapon roll, so Jijibi forgave it. Looks like everything worked out. Jijibi not monster. Generosity of Jijibi wide as cloud sea. Ugh. Sit up on make Jijibi sleepy. Here is reward from generous Jijibi. Thanks. If you see suspicious activity aboard Goldmouth, please report to Jijibi, Jijibi or Lemuli. You got Lemuli to relieve Jijibi on watch duty. Surely you'll keep a good lookout from now on. Leather gloves and some wolf shoes. Unfortunately, how long are we going? It's 12 1. Unfortunately, I have things to do tonight, unfortunately, so I think we're actually going to have to probably end it here, sadly. And to, uh, come tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll actually go start our job and stuff like that. But this was, this served as a, this was a good introduction to this game. I'm looking forward to playing more of this game, though. I'm definitely looking forward to playing more of this game. Uh, it can save here, yeah. So I'll save here. I'll save here for now. And on that note, guys, that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you so much for coming out to the stream. I apologize for such a short stream tonight. But unfortunately, I have some previous engagements that I need to take care of um, for tonight. So for, And I cannot be late for those. So unfortunately, I will have to call it here and all that good stuff. But tomorrow, we're going to dive right into Xenoblade. We're going to go all... We're going to go all ham. We're going to see what's going to go on. All that good stuff. And we're going to really get into the, the meat of this game. For the most part. Uh, and stuff like that. So, we're going to get Rex. He's going to get his payday. We're going to send money back home. And everything's going to be just fine. And nothing wrong is going to happen. At all. Period. Obviously. But as always, though. My name is Shogun Shin. You, the audience, and I'll see you guys next time.